time. We're actually about to start an experiment with our bunnies to see what smell they like better. Um, but before we talk about that, I'm Denise. I'm in the education department here at the North Carolina Zoo and welcome to Zoo Science. Um, and so what I'm doing right now is I just put the last smell on. This one is peppermint. And I stick it down on the ground where they can reach it. Um, the next smell is orange. We also got banana and pumpkin spice since it's so close to fall. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> and so we want to see which ones would they like the best. Um, but we also wanted to see if are they going to like the smell or do they want food more? So food is right up near the front as well. Um, so let's go ahead and maybe have them come out so then um, we can watch them as we talk a little bit more. Okay, so we have Clover and Aspen. They're kind of just starting to sniff around. It take, may take a little bit for them to kind of go on and start sniffing. Oh, there's some Clover. But while they do that, I'm going to kind of step out of the way a little bit while I keep on talking so that we can watch them. Let's see. So Clover is kind of getting a little interested in orange. Oh, oh she bypassed orange. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> she kind of sniffed a little bit. But while we're watching her, let's talk about how we came up with this idea. So we actually followed the scientific method. And that has us asking a question. So we had different smells and we wanted to know which one would they like the best. And so we did some research, that's step two. And we asked their keeper, who's also in this as well. She's kind of watching as well because she's curious too. Um, and she is, um, she told us that they had a little bit of experiment, experience with peppermint, but none of the other scents. Well, now <laughs> they're just kind of wandering around now. <laughs> they're like, look at this new place. Um, step three, after the research, we form an experiment. So we are outside in an enclosed area so that they can wander around without worry. And we set out in paper bags different smells. We put the extract on there and allowed them to kind of wander around and enjoy it. Um, the next step is actually performing the experiment um, and recording what's going on. So we're at that step in the scientific method. And so right now, none of, neither of them are really interested <laughs> in anything. Um, they're just more interested in exploring the area. Um, but Clover, the kind of tan colored one, she did kind of go over to the orange and banana one for a moment. So maybe she did like those a little bit. Aspen, our darker colored rabbit, he's just kind of just hanging around, I guess. It may take another little bit of time too to get them used to the area. Now, Nikki, which one do you think they would go to? I would have guessed the peppermint mm -hmm. because since they were familiar with it, mm -hmm. it's I guess not. They're proving us wrong. They're proving us wrong. As re animals often do. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the really cool part about the scientific method is. You know, once we're done with this, we can look at the evidence and see, well, maybe none of these scents are ones that they like. Oh, we got a little bit more action. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I think they're more interested in the leaves instead. Oh, oh. oh bypass <laughs> the pumpkin denied. spice. Man, <laughs> you're just not a fall kind of guy, are you? Well, that's okay. Not everyone has to like fall. Everyone has their own opinion. They do like the leaves. They do like <laughs> the leaves. <laughs> and so the last step of that is kind of just reviewing the evidence that we have right now. Um, and they could prove us wrong, but as of right now, it looks like none of these scents are ones that they are really interested in. 
Um, and this is also the step where we can discuss, okay, what happened in this experiment that maybe we could have done differently. So maybe we could have done this in an area where there wasn't as much distractors. Maybe no more um, leaves or anything like that so that they had to go to that smell. Um, or maybe they're just not as used to this area, so now it's a new place and they're exploring it and more curious about that. Um, but thank you guys for joining us today on our experiment. Um, and hopefully you guys get to um, do your own experiments at home as well, following the scientific method. So as a reminder, the scientific method, we start out with a question. Then we do some research. We have to know what we're talking about or what we were wondering first and foremost. And so for that research part, we asked their keeper. The third step is coming up with an experiment. So we had this, the smells that we wanted to place out there and we had an area. So we made sure this area was an open space so that they had plenty of room to roam around. And then the next step is we do the experiment and we watch and see what happens um, as we record what's going on as well. Um, the next step after that is to review all that data and see what kind of conclusion, which is that last step, we can make. And so we can conclude that they're not really interested in smells right now, <laughs> but that's okay. That's all part about science. So sometimes things don't work out the way they do or the way we want it to be. So that's when we can go back and relook at it and try maybe a different experiment next time. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me today and have a wonderful day.